Hi guys! Today I have a Kaleidoscopes haul to do. I received another package from Kaleidoscopes in my P.O. box. I am getting spoiled rotten by Kaleidoscopes here lately. They have been sending me so many packages and I've been loving absolutely everything from them. Such, such good stuff. If you guys have not been seeing the demos of the products that I have been showing, you need to check them out because they are just simply amazing. The bath bombs are huge. They they float. They make beautiful bath art smell fantastic. Like everything you could possibly want in a product, it has it. It's insane. So I'm going to show you guys the things that were in this latest box. They had already sent me two other shower jellies, but I got three more and I'm so excited. Um, you know, if you are looking for shower jellies, because you know, right now, Lush is just, as far as shower jellies go, not much going on there, but Kaleidoscopes has the hookup with shower jellies, just saying, and they are amazing. So the first one that they sent is called Sunrise Surprise. And I will open these up so we can see them a little better. But the scent description on this is tangerine, Brazilian orange, pink grapefruit. So this one is going to be very citrusy. And I will also say my boyfriend loves these. So he will definitely be using them too. Um, he's a big fan of shower jelly. So here is what this one looks like. It's just a very nice reddish orange color. Oh yeah. Mm, and that smells so good. It definitely, I smell the tangerine in that, which is awesome because I really do like the smell of tangerine. That's a citrus scent you don't smell super duper often with just citrus scents in general. So I'm really happy about the scent on that. So that is our first one there. Our next one is this one called Lemon Tell Ya. And the scent description on this is lemon, sweet orange, and bergamot. This is a super duper neon yellow. Almost got like a greenish tinge to that as far as like the, the neon goes. Oh my gosh, this just screams like 80s to me for some reason. Just like the, such a bright neon. I hope you guys can, can really see just how neon that is on camera. But this one definitely has that lemony scent, but it's not, it's not like lemon cleaner smell. It smells really, really nice. And it's probably because it's got that mix of, what else am I smelling? The orange. It's like a lemon orange. It's almost like a candy, like a sweet candy kind of scent to that one. Mm, that smells good. I love the color of it. And then the last one is called when the oak spoke how cute are the names of these and this one is fresh woody whispers of vetiver oak moss and sacred who wood <laughs> and this one is green so let's pop this out of here oh man yeah my boyfriend he's gonna take this one from me i know it I know it already. This smells really nice and woodsy. It's a beautiful green, just gorgeous, like so, so pretty. And this smells very woody. It almost smells to me like, and I hate like saying like, oh, that smells like a man. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? It smells like just like a men's kind of not necessarily cologne, but maybe more like a like a men's woodsy body spray or something like that. It smells really, really nice. Definitely something I would use too, but I know he is going to be using the heck out of that one. So those are the three shower jellies. Oh, I think I now have all of their shower jellies, which is insane, but they are very, very good. So like I said, if you're looking for a good shower jelly, look no farther, check them out. So now we're gonna move on to some other products. All right, they also sent another solid shampoo bar and they sent me one in one of my last packages and the scent was called See My Salt, I believe it was called. 
and I've been using it since I got it and I will say like I have pretty soup like my hair gets pretty oily pretty fast like um like a, a day later my hair is like oily and I need to like wash it again and I don't like washing my hair every single day um but I've been noticing that when using the see my salt solid shampoo bar from kaleidoscopes I can go a couple more days without having to wash my hair, which is awesome. That's something that I look for in a hair product because like I said, I don't like washing my hair every day. If that disgusts you, I'm sorry, but that's just how I am. I don't like to wash it every single day. Um, so that definitely has been helping keep that oil at bay. So I'm really excited to try another one. And the Sea My Salt smells great. It has like an oceany, almost reminds me of like the lush big blue kind of like the sea vegetable soap scent, just that nice oceany kind of smell. But this one here is called Karmatic and it is purple and the scent description on this is patchouli, orange, lemongrass, and gardenia. It smells so nice. It's got a floralness to it but also like that woodsiness of the patchouli. But I will say I don't like... You know, when you think patchouli, you think that just whoosh in your face patchouli scent. And that's not not how I smell this. It just smells really, really nice. Just, mm, I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to try that out. And they also sent a shampoo bar tin. You can stick them in. And they sell the tins also on their site. And I keep my shampoo bar in the tin. Um, I know in the last video I did, the the top doesn't always want to stay on very well, but I will say, like, I don't like keeping the top on. Um, I just keep mine in on the, I just keep mine in the tin with the lid off so I can, like, allow it to, to dry off. So, but after you use it a couple of times and, like, say you're taking it with you when you're traveling and you used it a couple of times, your lid should stay on fine. It's not a big deal. All right, so I got one bubble bar, and I am dying to use the last bubble bar they sent me. I'm probably going to do that next, like the next time I do a Kaleidoscopes demo, because it is so freaking gorgeous. I'm so excited for it. But this one is called Honey Bath, and it is huge. It's just a gold kind of shimmery, um, you know, it's got that honeycomb looking vibe to it, and... This goes great along with the theme of my latest lavish bath box. I am loving like all of this honey scented products that I have gotten recently. And this one definitely has a honey scent to it. It's just nice and light and just, it's got the sweetness, but it's also got a little bit of that true, more true honey smell. Cause you know, sometimes, um, some honeys are just like, the fragrances are just like overly sweetened, but this is more of a, it's a sweet honey, but more of an actual honey smell, if that makes any sense whatsoever, but it smells fantastic, and this is a huge bubble bar. Like literally, you could cut this down into four pieces, no problem, but you know, that's not what I do, but if you need to or you want to, you can. All right, so now on to the bath bombs that they sent. This first one is called Atlas. It is just this big hunk of hunk of blue bath bomb. I know that this probably has lots of beautiful color in there that will pop out. Like I said, Kaleidoscope's bath bombs make for beautiful bath art. The scent on this is Neroli Grapefruit and Rose. And it smells so nice. I definitely smell the rose in there with a bit of a sweetness, which must be the the grapefruit. It smells so, so good. I really like the scent of that. And that bath water is going to be gorgeous. So really excited to try these out. All right, next is this gorgeous one that matches my shirt a little bit. This one is called Rosé All Day. It's a lot more vibrant pink then I feel like my camera is really showing off. But again, this is very large and it is shaped like a rose. And the scent description on this is rose and champagne. And it smells so nice. 
it's hard to describe. Like, I smell the rose in it, but it's not... It's not like a, a florally rose, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's not like... Um, sometimes you think of rose and you just think this, like, very strong floral scent. You know, sometimes rose can be very, very strong. But this is just a nice light scent mixed with champagne, which is crazy sounding to have something scented like that. But it smells so good together. I love the smell of that. It's just so pretty. And I think that's going to make for a beautiful pink bath. This one is called Dino Egg, and I'm very intrigued by this. It is huge, just like all their other bath bombs. Um, it makes me wonder if there's, like, anything inside of it. Is there a little dinosaur toy in there or something? I don't know. That would be cute, but I'm not sure. Um, the scent description on this is Mayan Vanilla and Lime Bark. It smells so good. I definitely smell the lime in this, but it's like a sweet lime. Again, it kind of reminds me a bit of like a candy, almost like a one of those like gummy candies, like a lime gummy candy that's like coated in sugar. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Those types of like gummy candies? That's what it smells like to me. It smells so freaking good. This one is also incredibly huge. It is called Jupiter. It's just got this red, orange, and yellow all mixed in there. Oh gosh, I love the smell of this. It's described as Australian sandalwood and olibanum. I'm not sure what that is, but it smells fantastic. It's got a more of like a warm kind of smell to it, which I really, really like. And I just can imagine how gorgeous this bath art is going to be. I'm so stinking excited. This next one I loved th the shape of. I just think this is a really unique looking shaped bath bomb. It is called Kelp the Ocean, which, you know, it's kind of a play on words, like help the ocean. Like 10% of the proceeds of this particular bath bomb is donated to the LD Foundation and Oceana to help keep the oceans clean. So that's really awesome. This one smells like, I feel like this one is what my, um, my solid shampoo smells like that I was just talking about. Not the Karmatic that was just sent to me, but the one before that. It just has that nice, like, oceany kind of scent to it. It's described as sea moss, lemongrass, and lavender. And it's just, it's such a nice smell. And I do believe there is little bits of possibly sea kelp in there or sea moss. So this should make for a great, like, oceany bath. Next we have the Cherry Blossoms, and there are actually three of them, and they are all different colors. So we have a, a darker pink, a purple, and then this brighter neon kind of pink. So you get all three of these, like if you buy, buy this bath bomb, you get all three. So you can use each one separate, or you can use them all at the same time. And they have a scent of strawberry and lime, and it smells so good. It's, I definitely smell the strawberry in this and it's just like the sweetest, most lovely strawberry scent ever. And that's another scent you don't really see in bath bombs ever. And I love the smell of strawberry. So I'm really excited to try those. I will probably put them all in at one time. So I am excited for that to see what they look like. All right, the last one is called Fatal Attraction, and this was broken a little bit, which is not a big deal. It looks like his, um, it's a little black skull with this beautiful, like, purpley pink glitter. His, <laughs> his little jaw wurr, 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 broke off, which is not a big deal. This smells so good. This also has a rose scent. It is described as jasmine, gardenia, and rose. It's a beautiful floral and I also want to make mention with the glitter it is biodegradable as well so just throw it out there so you guys aren't worried about um the glitter affecting the little fishies in the sea so this smells so good though 
I absolutely love the smell of that. It's on the smaller side, but it is probably going to be as equally pretty. Um, so I am really excited for that one too. I love like that black with the purple glitter. It's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, guys, that is everything in this, this newest box from Kaleida Soap. Like I said, I feel like I'm being completely spoiled, but I'm so excited to do demos of these. I've been very, very happy and thrilled with everything I have used so far. And I am not just saying that because they're sending me products. I legitimately would like back everything that I'm telling you guys with with everything I've used, I've been completely happy with. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have used anything from Kaleida Soaps, whether it was before you heard about it, before me, or after, what did you think of it? Um, were you as equally happy? What What is your favorite products? Like you had to let me know down in the comment section. And like I said, I will have demos up of, you know, more Kaleida Soaps products. And I think they said like they're sending me some of their um, newest summer collection that I don't think is out yet, but um, obviously like when I get that, I'll have another haul and we will do more demos. But until then, we'll have to get through some more of the demos of the stuff that you have seen in not just this box, but some other past boxes that I have not had a chance to demo yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.